Chapter 4 Building Your Product Hi Liam, how are you today? Hi Emma, I'm great, thanks. I've just come back from a meeting with my head programmer. He's coding for our app and things are going really well. He's made some real progress and is building everything from the ground up. It's going to be a totally bespoke app. It's funny you should say that, Liam, because today I wanted to talk about product viability. Have you ever heard of MVP? No. What does MVP stand for? It stands for Minimum Viable Product and is a method of launch that a lot of startups favor. It really plays alongside the whole lean startup ethos we talked about earlier. What is a minimal viable product? Minimal viable product is a method of early launch that brings you to market earlier. Your end goal remains unchanged, but it allows you to get up and running more quickly. Let's take, for example, your programmer. He's building the app from the ground up, right? Right. And the app is going to have lots of features, yes? Yes. But the core feature is going to be checking the availability of restaurants and cafes for freelancers and mobile works, right? Yes, but we've got lots of other things planned. Users will be able to have accounts, the ability to rate establishments, contact owners, and much more. That's the difference between minimal viable product and everything else. MVP asks what the core function is and goes to market just with that. With the MVP strategy, your programmer would focus on the availability checking and once that was functional, you'd launch immediately. But then the users wouldn't get all the other functions. But how do you know they'll miss them? When you've got the core function pushing the startup forward, you can begin to speak to your users to ask them what they would like from the app. It may be that they don't want to contact restaurant owners or have accounts registered. If you developed all that stuff first, then you may have wasted months and thousands in developing functionalities that users don't even want. Wow, I never thought of it like that. A lot of new startups are letting the users guide them. They're keeping the vision flexible and are implementing things quickly, seeing how people respond and then either developing them or removing them accordingly. That makes sense, I guess. It would definitely save some time. MVP looks to keep costs down and maximize profits by leaping into the market as soon as the business is able to function. Further to that, you can keep trimming costs and overheads by being involved in your market. What do you mean? In coding and tech, there's a lot of what's called open source material that anyone can use. It may be that your programmer is spending a long time writing his own code when there's a large part of it readily available open source. It may not be exactly what you need right now, but it could save you months of preparation work and wages. Once you've made the money back from users, you can then invest in your own code. To not even check, though, would be a big mistake. Isn't taking your time important, though? While planning and organizing, yes, but when it comes to launch time, no. The longer you spend developing, marketing, and spending, the more money you'll bleed and the less sure the investors and potential users will be. Launching fast by setting tight deadlines is a great way to keep enthusiasm up. You can reinvigorate your staff and investors by going to market quickly and getting usage and feedback on your app. This is how you develop something that users love by letting them help you build it. MVP makes use of the entire public as a beta test or focus group and reveals problems and solutions you probably never even thought of. I understand what you're saying, but that puts a lot of pressure on us, doesn't it? It means we're constantly putting out fires and trying to problem solve, meaning we've got less time to work on the project as a whole. Yes and no. MVP means that you spend a lot less on your product, which means that, in turn, you should charge less for it. If users are getting less for their money, then they shouldn't spend as much. But saying that, users would much rather a functional product that offers great value for money than paying through the nose for something that's been overdeveloped. You may think the app is simple and easy to use, but users may not agree. If they don't like things you've implemented, then those unused features are wasted money and time. If you run into problems after launching with one core functionality, then it will be much easier to address those problems while the app is simple and the user base is small. 
if you wait to launch with a really complex app, then there's so much more to go wrong. It will be much harder to solve lots of problems than just a few. The less that the app does, the less there is to go wrong. But we can still work toward implementing the other functions, right? Of course, and as you use it, you'll be able to ask your users, hey, would you like us to add this feature? And you'll either get a yes or no answer, which will give you some idea as to whether it's worth investing in. Every penny you spend needs to be in pursuit of adding functionality that solves problems. Having the app do things that don't add a benefit to being a user is a waste of money. Business is business, and regardless of your ideals, you need revenue to function. MVP maximizes the amount of money you stand to make and is a really solid foundation for a tech startup like yours. That's some great advice, Emma. I'm going to go and speak to my programmer to see whether we can move our timeline up. Thanks a lot. My pleasure. See you soon. Hey, Liam, I've come up with some questions about product. Do you want to give them a try? Sure. Question one. What does MVP stand for? A. Multi-value purchase. B. Minimum Viable Product C. Massive Vegan Potato D. Maximum Velocity Parachuting It's B. Minimum Viable Product, right? Correct. While Massive Potatoes sound fun, it's definitely Minimum Viable Product. Question 2. What's the main benefit of going to market early with an MVP? A. Users guide development of the product B. You save money on development cost C. Potential problems are identified early. D. Less functionality means less to go wrong. E. All of the above. They all sound like benefits to me. Is it E? Yes, it is. There are so many positives about going to market with an MVP that it seems silly not to. Last one. Question three. Why is it important to look for open source code that can help with development? A. Because it tells you what other similar companies are out there. B because it makes stealing ideas really easy. C, because you can release phony code to try to destroy other companies. D, because it may give you a helping hand in developing your products quicker. It's got to be D. People are really helpful in the tech world and want others to succeed. Open source code can give small companies a real boost in their early stages. You're getting good at this. You're absolutely right. Well done. 